somebody else who I know is smiling over all of this is NRA commentator Dana Lash. Dana, how great was it to see Wayne LaPierre sitting right next to the president yesterday? Grant, I'm trying to do my, my best impression of the Grinch. Remember after he came up with any idea that he came up with and his little, his little mouth would unfurl into this big smile? That's basically my mood right now. <laughs> There were five million Americans who were in that seat next to President Donald Trump. Grant, you were there. I was there. All of us NRA members were there because that's what this group, which is a fellowship of like-minded Second Amendment practitioners, that's exactly what this group is. We were all at the table. And it is so fascinating to me that all of these people, the Brady campaign, all of Michael Bloomberg's various gun control groups, which have failed miserably uh, as of late, they spend so much of his money on failed races. How much of his money did he blow? Millions and millions of dollars. This, not just this last election grant, but almost every single election prior. And he has absolutely nothing to show for it. There have been so many articles done just about how Michael Bloomberg outspends NRA members. I don't even remember the ratio, but hand over fist is probably the best description. And what does he have to show for it? Absolutely nothing. You have an American public who, according to the last Gallup poll, they do not believe that gun control is a pressing issue. You have an American public, according to numerous polls, that don't believe that semi-automatic rifles like an AR-15, which is simply scary to anti-gun zealots because it's black and that's their own issue, they don't believe that those should be banned. He has completely and utterly failed and wasted his own money. Meanwhile, Grant, all of us, millions of Americans who pay dues and fellowship in the NRA, we have protected and secured our Second Amendment rights for the next generation. That's what this is all yep. about.